Hi everyone, uh, it's been a fun eight weeks and I, I'm excited uh, to see your finished term projects this week and uh, not to worry about the final exam, you guys are going to do fine. Um, so you're probably looking at this title and you're thinking, uh, what does this mean? Why designers fail and what to do about it? Well, um, I have an inspiring video that I hope you'll watch as part of the extra credit. Um, I'll probably, I normally see many students do the extra credit because they're trying to squeeze in those last few points uh, to help their grade. Uh, definitely contact me if you have any questions about your grade or where your, where your grade stands, but even if you're not doing the extra credit, uh, leading us in discussion of that, I definitely suggest viewing that video. So why designers fail and what to do about it. So I'm hoping that you will check that resource out. And of course, um, here at the end of the course, I hope to maintain connection with you. Uh, more about that, and I have another video that you guys are going to be watching this week about what to do next um, in terms of your uh, career and the program and things like that. Um, but anyways, I hope to stay connected with all of you, uh, and um, I'm really excited to see your term projects this week. Speaking of term projects, let's chat about the web development life cycle. You're probably like, man, is he talking about this again? Well, I just want to kind of put a capstone on everything that we've done. Um, it's also important for all of us to have a foundation of this web development life cycle so that you can potentially use this as a process for developing a website or, or working with doing custom graphics or something for as a graphic designer for a future site, something like that in, in the future. You know, um, and I would like to try to have us envision just for a second, you know, imagine if, you know, if this was a perfect situation, you know, if everybody took 2150 as intended and 3150 as intended, let's kind of look at this process that I've been trying to do each week and kind of see where everything fits. Because I want this to kind of, like I said, to, you know, to be a capstone on our whole experience. Um, so the first aspect would be, you know, the client consultation, like envision, like let's say you were really working with a real client, you really did get flown out to New York uh, to, for a meeting, you know, that would have been like the first week of 2150. And that would just kind of start the planning and, the, and the get, getting the ball rolling. And then you would have, you know, perhaps weeks two through seven when you're planning and analyzing what the client wants. And in a sense, you're getting ready to then start creating something potentially for the pitch at the end. Um, but that would have been, you know, weeks two through seven of, you know, planning and truly planning and analyzing what the client needs to then uh, eventually pitch them something. So then you then go through a documentation process, which would perhaps, let's say, maybe it was week eight of 2150 when you're producing these documents. And then you would then use that information to then pitch to your executive firm back at your parent company. Say, this is where I think that we're going. And then now your executive firm and perhaps the rest of your company will be able to give you much needed feedback that would then influence the planning analysis design development it would influence the whole gamut of the, of the whole experience and that would have been like what we did in this course during week two and then we have then the designing and the developing based on that planning analysis based upon that documentation that's what we've been doing uh the last uh weeks three through seven the last four four or five weeks or so is truly designing and developing a site based on that information. And then we finally get to the point when we're then testing our designs, reviewing each other. And that's kind of like been weeks, you know, six to seven of uh, the last two weeks of, of this course. And then eventually you get to the actually pitching the design to the client. Now remember you're pitching them kind of like a prototype because what we've what we've been doing is the client gave us their problem and they gave their problem potentially to three or four other designers in the room of three different three different companies and now you want to make sure that you have their business so you've just been creating this this mock-up um, that would then you're pitching to them as this is what I think that your site should do this is what I I feel like your site could go in this direction and that's this is kind of like the the <coughs> the package I've been trying to package this course in is, is, is that type of situation in the real world would it have taken 16 weeks no it would not this would be something that probably we would cover over one or two weeks um, but then let's say we weren't going through this, you know, client pitch. Uh, the, the client should, tells you their problem, and then they, and then you go through this. This let's say the client shares this problem with three different designers, three different companies, and then all the all the companies go out, create this these prototypes, and they then bring it to the client and say, "Hey, what do you think about this?" And then the client chooses one. Sometimes that doesn't go that way. Sometimes the client comes to you, they sign up, they pay you money, and then you go through this whole process to actually create the finished product that the users would actually be loaded into. Um, but I was just trying to simulate, you know, that type of uh, situation where 
because um, rightly the sites that you're making right now the reason I try to put it grounded in that type of simulation is because the sites that you're making right now some of them are some of them really are true real functioning sites but some of them are kind of like these shells and which could be used kind of like as a prototype to, to share with the client and the end result I'm hoping is that you'll use these sites as a professional piece for your personal portfolio that would be ideal I mean think about interviewing uh, for uh, a potential job and talking to them about the simulation that, that, I, that I put you through and this program has put you through. And also remember, if you were working with a real client, remember, we talked about this earlier on in the course, you know, the client can only pick two. Uh, the client can only have things fast and good if, they're, if he's not, he or she's not expecting it to be cheap. And obviously people are going to want things fast and cheap, but then they can't expect them to be good. So over the course of these, of the, at least these eight weeks, I'm hoping that it definitely wasn't fast and and it perhaps probably didn't come cheap because think of all the time and effort that you put into this but what that means is I'm hoping there at the bottom that your term projects are what we would say are uh, a really good professional piece for your personal portfolio that in a sense would that that that, that in my mind is the goal so thinking it's important to think back to our entire process that we've used in this course if you've noticed at the end of all of our learning modules each week, I have samples of things to think about and questions that you could ask the client at these different phases. I'm hoping that you will save that and take that with you as, and hopefully this can be kind of like a tool that you'll use in the future as a freelancer or even working in a, a, a larger web design firm, depending on either way that you go. Um, and I'll talk more about that in the what to do next video, which is going to be coming up as you click through the module this week. But this week, in terms of activities, um, I'm asking you to review chapters 1 through 9 and chapter 14. These are the chapters that we read from the Painting the Web book, and that is what your final exam is going to be based on. And then you're going to be uh, reading, uh, I have some suggested Linda videos for you this week, who I'm about to talk about in just a second. And then, of course, the discussions is our client pitch. That's where we're really kind of taking it out moment and pitching our ideas to our client and well, the client really is all of us in the class, right? And then we're all going to review each other's sites and say some good things about them and some things, some things for growth. And more about that when you get into that discussion area. As assignments, you're turning in your completed term project for feedback from me and a grade from me, and then, of course, your final exam. I will do my best to get everything graded. It's going to take a good week uh, or, or to get everything graded, so keep, keep that in mind, but I'll give you updates along the way. And then, for extra credit, uh, I'm hoping you're very interested to go in this video and see what in the, how can you title a video like this and why would you be sharing it to us here in the last week of the course, course but uh, why designers fail and what to do about it. In terms of Linda, like I said, we are watching um, some videos just about presenting your concepts, presenting your designs, and I have suggested videos here from our Drawing Vector Graphics by, by Vaughn and Designing a Logo by Nigel. So I'm hoping that you'll go into those Linda resources, at least give them a few minutes of your time and take a look. Um, and every single year I have students that come to me and they're like, you know, I never watched the Linda videos. Sorry, man. Um, that's, that's, I think that's a disservice. I mean, this is a free service that's given to you from the, I mean, well, your student fees pay for it. But I mean, it's such a great uh, way to really have that demonstrational aspect of this course. And, and I hope that uh, you guys took advantage of it. But more about that in the What's Next video, which you're going to be watching in just a second. And then, of course, as I end all of our videos, I'm hoping to empower you guys as future web designers to be an observant web user. Um, there's not much more that I can say about this because I'm kind of exhausted, but yes, I hope that you will be an observant web user. And I'm excited to, 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 to lead you, to have you step off into your career as a designer. And of course, at the end of this week, you know, let the class I know if you have any questions. Um, so have fun finishing up the course, and I will talk to you and see you in the course.